the early 20th century, a new form of entertainment was born, animation. This form of escapism would become hugely popular in the US soon after, and although it was nothing more than entertainment in the beginning, two men, the Fleischer brothers, were some of the earliest pioneers in American animation with their rotoscope that advanced the nation into a new frontier of art. The first animation ever made was a three minute short simply called Humorous Faces of Funny Faces. Created in 1906, the short used a technique called stop motion, which took a camera and shot individual frames of film stock while changing details one by one. They played back the footage at 20 to 24 frames per second, which created a moving image. Ray Pointer, author of The Art and Inventions of Max Fleischer, American animation pioneer, later said in an interview, Motion pictures were a new medium that had only been around less than 20 years when Max came in. During that period, there was a lot of experimentation and finding of a common standard. Multiple other animations would be made moving the frontier forward. Animations in this era were revolutionary, but very rough with jerky movements and awkward flow between frames. Enter animator and inventor Max Fleischer. In 1887, Max Fleischer moved to America. In his teens, he was a paperboy, later promoted to cartoonist for the Brooklyn Daily Eagle. Before the age of 20, Fleischer bought his own cartooning studio in Manhattan. The studio's staff was mainly made up of Fleischer's family, including his brother Dave Fleischer, who directed all of his films. In 1915, Max noticed the very undynamic forms of animation in the industry. Richard, Max's son, would write, They were called animations merely because they moved, and they did it in a crude, herky-jerky manner. He had thought about creating a device that would project a pre-recorded film reel onto a piece of glass, which allowed artists to trace the footage onto a piece of animation paper. They would then take the papers and turn them into animated film. Max tested his idea out by climbing onto his apartment roof and filming his brother in a clown suit. They spent months perfecting the film and animation, and after all of their hard work was a little drawn clown moving naturally. After a long process, Max released a single reeled film, Alva Inglo, which featured an original character named Coco the Clown. It was an instant success, and launched Max and Dave Fleischer into the spotlight. Fleischer Studios evolved and later created Betty Boop, an icon in the golden age of animation, and incorporated comic book characters such as Popeye and Superman. They would place a patent for the rotoscope in 1915. When the patent expired in 1934, Walt Disney was more than happy to use it. Walt Disney Studios was a big competitor in the animation industry, and when the rotoscope was available to use in any production, they used it in countless films, showcasing how impactful and groundbreaking this invention was for the animation frontier. From Snow White and the Seven Dwarves to Hercules, you could see Max's influence everywhere. Even modern VFX and motion tracking are built off of Max's concept of filming then overlaying. Fleischer Studios would be bought by Paramount Pictures in 1942. At this point, Max and Dave had stopped speaking to each other. Max would live up until 1972, where he would sell the merchandising rights of Betty Boop to King Features, where she would bloom commercially once again. Soon after, he would pass. His son Richard would write, The terrible irony of the whole thing was that he died 11 days after the signing of the King Features contract. He never saw Fleischer Studios blossom into a multi-million dollar company or get to enjoy the bright and shining newfound success of his creation, Betty Boop. Max Fleischer and his work would fall into obscurity, with the exception of Betty Boop. He would often be overshadowed by his much more successful competitor, Walt Disney. But the frontier led by the Fleischers had such an immense impact on not only the animation industry, but all of film history with the invention of the rotoscope, the first form of visual effects, which would become the industry standard soon after. Max and Dave were pushing new frontiers in the art world by bringing characters to life in a dynamic way, bringing forward what was possible in the art of film. While they are often forgotten, the pioneers of animation will forever be immortalized with every film and a red-dressed woman.